Today, we are taking you to an abandoned water park somewhere in the Midwest of America. This water park opened up in the 1980s and attracted families from all over the Midwestern states. But in 2012, tragedy would strike. A man and his family went to have a good day, relaxing in the sun while their children play. But soon after, they arrived. The man collapsed from a heart attack and passed away in the hospital. This caused the water park to shut down and they never opened again. Join us today as we explore this abandoned water park. So guys, I'm starting you off with the good stuff at the water slides we got a pink one and we have like a turquoise blue one right here and these things are pretty huge we're gonna walk down and actually get a good view from down below of them but here's like a whole view of the water park pretty crazy guys I'm sorry if there is a lot of cicada noise there's bugs everywhere just chirping up a storm out here but from up here I can kind of point out some things not only was there a water park, there's also some cabins out here and apparently there's a lot of stuff left in them. So we're going to check out those at the end. But for now, we're looking here at the water park. Out there is like your front entrance with a arcade and your like medical stuff for the nurse and everything. We have the lazy river going all the way around. We have like a kid's little splash pad out there. We're going to take a look around this whole place. It's also an area for eating things like that but we're gonna walk around this entire water park and yeah this will be the second one for the channel so yeah. everything's in that one over there yeah when I went in there I had everything in there what about these other ones I didn't go to them uh, so I wouldn't know but so see see where that fence is open that's yeah that's where you go to okay to so we'll go down there to walk up to the cabin I don't normally go to water parks in the summer I used to when I was a kid but I much more enjoy the abandoned ones now <laughs> much more than the open ones like I said this is pretty amazing that we're here and I'm actually surprised that there's not more vandalism at this place but that's what we love to see is less things destroyed so we're walking down the slides you can kind of see them above me right now so here's a look of the two slides from the bottom kind of get a view of that It's super overgrown out here, and it's like, like extra overgrown. <laughs> We're running into the blue slide right now. Man, these pictures are going to look so good. I'm excited for this one. There's thorns everywhere. Oh, watch out. <laughs> oh, it's literally thorns right there. It's going into my stomach. Okay. Guys, the thorn bushes are not playing around out here. We're coming down to the end of the slides. We're going to see the pool that's down here that they connect to. Oh, we have this little bridge over the lazy river. It's sturdy. <laughs> ah, the lazy river. My favorite part of water parks. You can just chill. So. Get an actual view of all this. Looks like you could actually ride without getting hurt. You can actually see where people were sliding in the end. Yeah, the you can see the slide marks. People come out here and have some fun. 
This is like, I'm surprised that this is actually not like full of water. Like the rest of them. White water. Try coming down the side with this tree in your face. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get over to the arcade games again to show you all that because it's all still in there. And there's even a whole bunch of stuffed animals. Maybe from like uh, prize machines, things like that. But I love water parks. I love abandoned ones. This is literally the second one I've been to. Over here leads to this pool that I was kind of confused about. And then you see more of the lazy river right here. So I'm gonna walk to this pool. And we're right here, right here at this pool. Uh, I don't think this was a wave pool. This must have just been like something for kids to play in because it's not, it's not very deep. It's maybe only three to four foot they would be if it was full. We had some bolt cutters down there. But it was like this swing right here you'd probably go across for fun. And yeah, it's just all the same depth throughout the whole thing. So this is probably more for like children to just play on. The water is very clear besides what's floating in the bottom. You'd think it'd just be all murky and weird, but it's so clear. I want to try to get over here to this little splash pad. There's two more slides that way. And then there's a splash pad right here with another slide and that big thing of water that dumps on you. Guys, I just want to say thank you all for all your support that we've been getting lately on the channel. I am very grateful for everything. This has been a dream of mine to be a YouTuber, to travel the world. I'm getting better at filming, learning every day more and more what to do to make videos better. And I hope you guys are enjoying the process of everything. But I just want to say I really appreciate everybody. And guys, I got some stuff coming out soon. I'm getting a website made, clothing made, merch and everything. Just want to throw that out there in the middle of this explore. But enough of me rambling on. Let's continue exploring this place and let's see what else is left behind. Looks like we got to walk through some brush right here. Ah, we're on another bridge. It goes over the Lazy River. There's actually the entrance to the Lazy River. So I'll have to walk you over there and actually show you the sign, but this does not feel very sturdy. I guess if I walk right in the middle where the beams are, I might be okay. But it's already a hole right there. Let's just get across so I don't fall through this. All right. Oh, almost fell through right there. Oh, okay, we're across. We are across. So right here is the splash pad. We've got the mushrooms. We've got this big water thing that would dump on all the kids. Maybe some like areas for shades, tanning, things like that. And then we have two more slides over here, like little slides. But imagine, this would be so fun. Here is three actually, three more slides. One was just really overgrown. One right here, this yellow one right here, and then this pink one. Super cool. Guys, we just finished the turkey series. Me and my friend Explomo met up in Turkey, explored some of the craziest places that I've ever been to. One being the best explore I've ever done. And I cannot wait to show you guys that. That will be out in December, the whole Turkey series, where we explore a theme park, a resort, the famous Disney castles, and even a mansion that we found on an island. Let's continue to walk around this water park though, but I cannot wait to drop the Turkey series for you guys. You guys are gonna love it. And, we had some pretty crazy things happen to us, like uh, involving the police and stuff. Enough about that. Just be ready for December. We're at the arcade area right now, so 
Let's take a look inside these buildings. First off, it's like a big area. I don't know what they had out here. Maybe, maybe even food. Maybe tables for food. I'm not too sure. But, as you can see right here, yeah, this is a concession stand. I think we can get in there. But, yeah, we'll get in there here in just a second. Yeah, grill and deli. It says right here. But right through these doors, we're going to walk right in to the arcade. And I'm also seeing these putt putts. So maybe there's a little golf course out here somewhere. If there is, it's probably super overgrown, but there's a lot of little golf balls everywhere. It's even a weird wheelchair sitting out there. All right. So this is like a little nurse's station. We have the, the gurney right here. We got the rubbing alcohol. First aid kits. Calamine topic, topical suspension. Skin protectant. Okay. Even some some gauze. Everything. Still in here. And this is, must have been like the bed you sit on. But it's all still here. This must have just been an office. From one of the staff. We have a little mini fridge here. Completely empty, but okay. Oh, it stinks. Ugh. Startup procedures A pumps on, B, these people had very bad handwriting, a fire up middle circulation pump for kiddie pool and lighthouse. Hmm, so this is like all the instructions of what they're supposed to do when they get here. Ah, uh, maybe a break room. A Vogue magazine, a couple of Vogue magazines. We got lockers. Got the lockers for the workers here. More of these lifeguard things. Ah, here we go. Here's the arcade machines. Oh, look at that. Into the thick of it. Insert my friend Abandoned Dallas right here. That's that's like his saying right there into the thick of it. So, buddy, if you're watching this, there you go. Into the thick of it. <laughs> so this is a Time Crisis 2 by Namco. This game is cursed. Don't play, please. So we have a cursed game here. Huh. Very cool. I wish it wasn't all stacked up like this. I wish it was like all spread out how it normally would be. Police trainer. I see a Genesis game over there. And then there's so many stuffed animals here. We got tigers, we got sharks, we've got dolls. Hey, look at this. This is like a dog. The heck. <laughs> we have uh, Detroit Pistons football. Even though the Pistons are basketball, look at that. <laughs> this is one of those water balls, though. Like, yeah, you just use them at like water parks and pools and stuff. Here's all the chairs and stuff for tanning, whatnot, all stacked up back in here. We actually walk. Over here we might see more games. Yeah, we will, okay. Here we go. We got Area 51. Love 
and arcade games. We have uh, Golden Tea 3D Golf. We have Cruisin' Exotica, which is Nintendo. We have Sega, Crazy Taxi, High Roller. This is like racing games right here. It's even a vending machine, like a claw machine right there. One more little shooting game here. Maximum force. And then tokens. One or five and you get all these tokens come out. But this is where I want to show you guys the kitchen. Right here. Hamburger, three dollars. With everything, three fifty hot dog, two hundred dollars. No, I'm kidding. Two dollars. <laughs> uh, chicken nuggets, chili cheese dog, fries. Wow, had a lot of stuff here. And there we go. My name is here. <laughs> I had to, guys. I had to. But back to this. We are in the kitchen area. Um, this is also the concession stand. It goes out there. So being in here, we have the nachos. We got probably what held hot dogs or something right there. Pizza, our drinks. So we got Mountain Dew, Diet Mountain Dew, which I would have thought this one was Baja Blast because of the color, but just Diet Mountain Dew. We have the Pepsi cooler right here. Fridge, nothing in it. You always check the fridges because there may be something in there. You never know. Cabinets of everything. There's even some more stuffed animals over here. Got a little puppy. A lot of salt. Tons of salt. And here's where they made all the food. All the greasy, fried, bad for you food that you eat at water parks. This is where the freezer is, along with the pumps for the soda machine. CO2 cartridge, it looks like something CO2 maybe. Not too sure what that is. Yeah. Carbon dioxide, okay. Plastic forts, popcorn bags, I mean everything's here. Very cool. Alright, back outside. Nice beautiful day. Come in here, this was the main office. This is the manager's office. Old security TV, Dell computer, flip-flops. <laughs> we have a cabinet full of things. A lot of tampons, some rope, some like ketchup packages, things like that. Just random stuff. A lot of things in here. A lot of things kind of just scattered about. It's like all the phones and calculators and things like that. Hi right, guys, this place is untouched. So if you know where it is, please just don't comment the location. The whole reason, I mean, we want to keep these places safe. We want to keep these places, you know, protected and everything. So if you know where a spot is that I post on here, just keep it to yourself, please. We want to keep these places as preserved as possible, so yeah, let's keep exploring. I have some Little Life jackets in here, along with another gurney thing. And we're back outside again. And over here, thank you for coming, this is the exit. So you actually come down the side of this, this part, and we make it over to the women and men restrooms, which is also janitorial stuff women's restroom and a men's restroom which we're not even going to bother going in there and then we have all these lockers out here I don't think anything's going to be in them but cool enough they're here 
And I wonder what this was. I mean, another concession? Maybe the old t-shirts and all that stuff. Hey guys, I noticed this when I first came in. Does this not look brand new? Look how shiny that is. That looks brand freaking new, but it's out here. Everything's overgrown and <laughs> falling apart, but that thing's brand new. It's so weird. But right up here, I wanted to show you, after walking through all this stuff, as you can see, actually see the lazy river the entrance it's awesome right over here looks like we have a volleyball court a little bit of a volleyball net right there and then all these tables and gazebos and stuff I think it's time for us to go up to the cabins and see what that's like and uh, see what else is left here. So yeah, let's go up there and let's check it out. Such a beautiful day. I know. Hurts everywhere. Ay you that hurt. Huh? Thorns. Savannah's out here rocking the, the Josh merch. <laughs> it's the Beyond the Dark. So Josh, if you're watching this, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry. I'll have mine stuff out really soon. It's in the works. I'm coming out with a couple different designs. One is going to be a whole line of just no enemies to spread love. You know, just caring about everybody, caring about anybody you come across, having no enemies. You know, people can hate you all they want, but as long as you're the one being the bigger person, treating everybody with respect, then you will never have enemies. All right, guys, cabin is right up there on the top of the hill. I think we took the wrong way. I think we did take the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. We have to go around. I think we have to go up on that. Yeah, we have to go around that way. All right, after a little bit of a hike, we made it to the cabin. And there's thorns everywhere. All right, Savannah's gonna make her way in. And then I'll follow behind. I got thorns all on my knees. There we go. We're in. All right. So first off, there's a couch here. Might even been squatters here. Kitchen. Yo, this place is the time capsule of this cabin right here. Got some owls, blankets. Check this out. Here's a full bedroom. I mean, you could sleep here. It's crazy what's left in here. You can hear Savannah walking upstairs. We got the fridge. I wonder if there's anything in it. No. I'm wondering if they had a TV sitting up here or something. They might have. At one point. Now, I wasn't expecting all this, Savannah. <laughs> I know, there's like a lot of stuff up here. I was not expecting this. Got this really nice decor right here. There's multiple beds up here. Yeah, there's also someone over here, too. Really? Yeah. What? And whenever I first came here, these were all made too. They were all made? So somebody's been here. Yeah. That almost feels like a squatter. This so like, they used to all look like this. You know what? Oh, there's so many beds. I know. What the heck? Yeah. This is crazy. Okay, so here. <laughs> what? Here's the area. Just four beds here. Now, I have a feeling you could do like an overnight challenge at this place. Not that I'm going to, but you could totally with all your friends. 0.2184 at the revised code and against the peace of dignity of the state of Ohio, a misdemeanor of the fourth degree. Ah, so we got charged. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So 
a little rundown of what just happened. Savannah and I, we were leaving. We were literally walking to the gate where we entered this, this uh, water park. And the owner pulls up and it's her and her husband. And she is pissed. She is not being nice whatsoever. We're being pretty cooperative. We're being really nice. We're like, listen, we're sorry. We didn't see any signs because there literally was no signs. The gate was also laying down so you could literally step over it. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's not secured. So she pulls up on the side of the road. We're trying to walk to the car and she's like, well, you're going to have to stay right here because the sheriff is on their way. And we were like, okay, well, our car's up the road. Let's just we'll walk to the car. And she's just not being cool at all. And she drives up to our car. She blocks our car in to where we can't even back out if we did get there in time. And the cops pulled up. The cops were actually super chill. Super, super chill. They, they were like trying to talk the lady out of pressing charges and everything, but she still did. She still pressed charges on us. Mm -hmm. So we have to go to court and do all that. Now guys, this is one side you never see to exploring. You don't see it. I mean, you never seen it on this channel, but we do get caught sometimes and everything. I even offered, we even offered to delete our footage for this lady yeah. to let us go. And she was like, no, she put us in the same category as heroin addicts. And we also had to search like open up out bags. Yeah, she, she thought we out. stole stuff. We were like, what? <laughs> she was basically said we were worse than the heroin addicts going up there. And we were like, we don't know how, we have no idea mm -hmm. how that's true, like how, uh, we were so confused when she said that. Even the cops were confused. Yeah. Like. And like they wanted to let us go so bad. They wanted to let us go. They thought it was cool what we we're doing. I think one of them even subscribed to the channel. <laughs> yeah. And, but you know, they have to do their job and they have to, um, you know, do what the victim says. And all do all respect to them and everything. They were really cool with us. And, mm -hmm. but we're gonna have to deal with deal with it just like anybody that gets this done has to. And. Surely we'll just get it dropped and Let's hope so. we'll be fine. Yeah. So, but that's the end of today's explore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed all that. I wish I could have got more on film of the lady yelling at us, but couldn't really do that. Couldn't really do it. I took out my SD card just in case, like you know, you want to be cautious, you want to be safe, and everything. I got, I got enough footage to make a full video, but yeah, we're outside of the police station. He just let us go, and we're gonna head back home. So, yeah. hope you guys enjoyed this. And this is just one thing that happens with exploring, so you gotta live and you learn and you deal with it. So, anyways, peace out. Check out Urban Decayed, and we're gonna get out of here. If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button, go ahead, leave a like, turn on the post notification bell, and that's it. Till next time, Big Banks out. Mm -hmm.